Hi guys. Okay, so uh, today, uh, this, this is a video is specifically for Scott. Scott is a newer driver on console um, in ACC and, um, and just trying to, you know, start figuring things out. And we've been talking over the last couple of days about, uh, about what I think is a good approach for, uh, for newer drivers to take. And that's what this video is, is to give him a specific example of uh, the drill that we've been talking about, which is the Aris drill. Um, and uh, most of you should know Eris from ACC. He gives us a ton of good information, and I think this uh, particular drill of his is very useful. Uh, the basic idea of it is to take braking completely out of the, the equation and focus on keeping the car under control, hitting the apex, and, um, and accelerating properly away from it. Um, I think of it as the fundamental of understanding the shape of a lap, right? Uh, the problem I think too many new drivers run into is they get fixated on uh, the brakes, the braking zone, and trying to make their time there. And um, and I think that's backwards. In other words, they're, they spend too much time focused on the first half of the corner, um, and they suffer in the second half of the corner as a result. Because it is very difficult and takes a lot of practice and a lot of time in order to develop really good braking technique, trail braking, and the associated techniques that, uh, that go along uh, with the first half of the corner. When, in my mind, what you should be focusing on is the second half of the corner. That is hitting the apex every single time and attacking the throttle so that you maximize your speed on the subsequent straight. Um, that is what this drill helps you do. So, uh, I am at Brands Hatch in the Aston V12 because that's what Scott is currently working on, and I'm going to show you a an example lap of what the Aris drill looks like, um, so that you can then take that and work on it on your own. I'm going to start in the overhead view. Scott, this is uh, panned away further than you will be able to uh, on console because console doesn't have the free cam capability. PC does, but it's very good for uh, for showing this. So I'm going to show the entire lap from the overhead view, and what you'll see is um, with the HUD turned on, um, you'll see that I am hitting the apex every time, that that apex is primarily a late apex in every corner, and that I'm getting back on the throttle as soon as I hit that apex. Now I won't necessarily be able to slam the throttle, um, immediately on every corner because some of them are a little bit more slippery than others and you'll lose the back end but the point is the thought process um, the car is under control as you decelerate you then hit the apex and then to the extent that the car in the corner allows you you attack the throttle as soon as you do hit that apex so let's we'll see what that looks like from overhead first Now let's go into the cockpit view so that you can see my steering input in combination with the uh, the brake input. And what I'm trying to do here is uh, I am trying to do all straight line braking 
and um, as little as possible trail braking, meaning I don't want the steering wheel being uh, turning in combination with an application of the brake. I want all the braking to happen in a straight line. There's, uh, there's one corner later on in the lap where you don't have any choice. You do have to turn the steering wheel a little bit and I'll show you uh, where that is. But for the most part, the purpose of this drill is to take braking out of the equation entirely and focus entirely on having a good stable car that you can then position where you want to at the apex so that you can attack the throttle on the exit. That right there is the corner I'm talking about where the little kink preceding the corner forces you to uh, put a little bit of steering input into the wheel before you hit the brake. Okay. So that's the drill. Um, in my view, for a newer driver, um, when you go to a uh, to a brand new track that you've never been to, um, I think you should be able to do this drill for 20 consecutive laps without losing control of the car and without missing an apex. Um, if you can do that, then I think you are now in a position where it makes sense to go back and start attacking um, and start learning how to get faster in the braking zone itself. Uh, but the problem is, if you don't have this fundamental down first, and you start going and and really trying to brake later or trail braking or what have you, that is going to throw off uh, everything you're doing from the middle of the corner onwards. In other words, you can't learn it all at one time. This is the easy part. So learn it, get it out of the way, make it a habit. Uh, make it so that uh, that whatever you do from there won't sacrifice this fundamental of hitting apexes and attacking the throttle uh, on the exit. Okay, so that's the uh, that's Eris's drill. I think it's a great one. I hope it helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, give me a shout. See ya.